This is this is my ingenuity. This is this what you don't see behind the scenes. Look, see, you need a nice, nice smooth tracking shot. I don't need a gimbal. Look at this. Ah. You won't see smooth shots like that. Ooh. If you need to hire me for a video, don't worry. I got you. Don't worry, don't hire me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to episode number three of The Witcher Workout. I'm Alex, some of you guys might know me from the Arex Gaming YouTube channel or from video games. And The Witcher Workout is all about trying to get me like Geralt or you guys, if you're getting involved, like either Geralt or Siri, basically taking all the character attributes of a Witcher, strength, endurance, agility, applying that to a genuine workout that we can follow and just become real life badasses. So today we're going to be looking at the lower half of our body having worked the upper half for the last two sessions. Biggest session of the week, the powerhouse session. When looking at the lower half of our workout, the motions that Geralt and Siri will be using, um, these really come into play. So, I mean, just looking at the squats itself, building up that initial leg power that will be used throughout any kind of attempt of any fighting scenes, any jumping scenes, anything that is literally will be used by his legs. Same with the RDL, having strong hamstrings, which will help him be as quick as possible um, into the box jumps to make him as plyometric um, as possible so that he'll be jumping to and fro buildings on monsters and absolutely doing what he likes, when he likes. Same with walking lunges um, and elevated glute bridges, just building up as much strength in those legs so that when he is fighting or going about his daily day-to-day -day business, or just climbing on anything, he's absolutely sorted. And then as always, we finish with our core section just to burn out those abs. Into our first activation exercise. So warming up correctly, especially when you're hitting the lower half of your body, it is essential you warm up your glutes. Um, a lot of people are over quad dominant, hamstring dominant. So the minute you can get these firing, you're gonna be as strong as possible when it comes to squats and RDLs. So all you're gonna need is a band, perfectly modeled by myself. You're gonna place it around the lower half of your ankles. All you're gonna need is a bit of length to move into. And what you're gonna do is a slight brace squat position. You're gonna kick off this standing leg. So we're moving into lateral crab steps, crab walks, banded, many names to it. But the main thing is we're emphasizing on pushing off that hip and then returning off the opposite side, waking up these glutes, waking up these hips. So a nice big space. If you've got a small space, you can just keep going back and forth until you've completed those 12 reps each side. When I said I wanted to do the Witcher workout, I did say I wanted to be Geralt, not a monster. You know, this is... <laughs> this is monster footsteps. The final part of our warm-up activation, what we're gonna be looking at is kind of a single leg motion, a single leg squat. We've used um, an elevated surface, so a platform will do or a box. And if you wanna get near something just for a little bit of support, that's absolutely fine. So what you're gonna be doing is basically emphasizing on that squat motion, so hinging at the hip, bending down, bringing that foot as close to the floor and then using this leg to bring yourself back up. So no pushing off the floor with that leg. Let this standing leg do all the work nice and controlled and then coming all the way back up, all the way down and then all the way back up. Sweet. We're into the action, the strength zone. So the first exercise, one of the best exercises, if not the best exercise in the world, is the squat. So we're gonna be looking at this, um, hitting pretty much every muscle group in your body, but really big, powerful exercise. So, first things first, bar placement. So, it's all about getting the bar nice and comfortably on your shoulders, you don't want it high up on your neck. And low bar is a little bit complicated to explain. So just resting nice and safely on your trapezius, right in the center. And then what you want to do, once you take the bar off, nice and tight in your back, keeping your posterior chain nice and straight throughout. A little bit of separation in the toes, just to encourage the knees going out. You don't want your knees to crumble in on the descent. Um, and then we're going to go with tempo squats. So a nice, easy three seconds down. One, two, three. And then once you reach peak, two second pause, and then all the way back up. 
So again, when it comes to depth, just try and really push towards that parallel barrier. Um, so trying to get as deep as you can while maintaining a good posture. So again, just three seconds down, little two second pause, and then just shooting up nice and straight. Right, onto the second and second biggest compound exercises when lifting with the legs. We're looking at the RDL, the Romanian deadlift. And yes, I've got a band on my leg picked out by Alex. Basically, the band is stolen from uh, Henry Cavill's workout, where basically we're trying to add more tension to the hamstrings and the glutes during the same movement. So, with the RDL, it's all about picking the bar up safely and potentially a normal deadlift position. But then once you're at the top, it's about Again, locked out in a posterior chain and then just hinging at the hips, slight softness in the knee, making your way down as far as you're comfortable, little pause at the bottom and then back up, squeezing in the glutes. So again, nice big chest, hinging at the hips, softness in the knee, emphasizing on the hamstrings, little pause at the bottom and then squeezing all the way up and through in the glutes. Whew. Well done, bro. Make me sweat. Sweaty ones. Yeah. Into the functional section slash the plyo section, a little bit of explosive work. What we're going to be looking at is box jumps. So, um, breaking it down nice and simple, focusing on the takeoff and the landing. So, slight brace position. It's not going to be a full squat position. It's going to be a slight softness in the knees. Um, and then what you're going to do is basically just emphasize jumping up and then landing safely on top. Stepping back down or jumping back down safely. Again, softness in the knees. Little bend down and it's split up and then land nice and safely on top. Into our first accessory exercise, what we're going to be doing is looking at walking lunges, but I have got two kettlebells. So you're going to want to hold them up in a rack position, nice stable core, nice upright body. And what you're going to do, little knee drive into a lunge, back knee dropping towards the floor and motion moving forward. So, for this second and final part of the accessories, what we're gonna be looking at is our hamstrings and our glutes again. So we've got a single leg glute bridge and we've elevated it. So we've got a little box in front of us just to add that little bit of extra range into the movement. So, what you're gonna do, back flat on the floor, arms down either side supporting, one heel up on top of the box, other leg elevated straight in the air, and all you're gonna do is drive through that heel, squeezing in the air for two seconds, and then all the way back down again. All the way up, drive, two second hold, all the way back down nice and safely, nice and powerful up, nice and controlled back down, and squeezing all the way up, and back down. Killer on the hamstrings. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, of course. And always to finish off with a little bit of core, but for this, I'm gonna need a weighted ball. So, we're gonna be sat down on our bum, leaning back to where we find the tension in our abdominals, and then we're gonna get our weighted object, and we're just looking at rotations either side. But for this, to challenge yourself, we're gonna take our feet up and off the floor, creating more core stability, and again, just rotating side to side. We're going for time in this exercise, so it's just working as hard and as controlled as you can during the time. <laughs> That's your limit. That's what you got. Woo. So, wrap for the workout, feeling kind of tired right now. <laughs> hey! Also, this is why I'm on the wheel for, you know, added core stability. Anyway, had a really good session. Nice to shout out to Joe, of course. Uh, put me through our paces. That was, of course, the lower body session. So again, if you guys have missed any of the episodes so far, complete playlist will be linked down below. This is day three. So if you've been following along, we've now done push, now done pull, and now we've done lower. So we've got two more days to go, and that'll round out the, uh, the Geralt, the Witcher workout, which, uh, Hopefully, should be testing some of you guys too anyway. But for the time being, really enjoyed it. I'm feeling uh, pretty tired after stage one, so definitely feel like it's put me through our paces, but 
Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. If you are following along, make sure you are listening on social media using hashtag virtual workout, hashtag video games, and be sure to keep it locked. Two more days of the workout and a big final test to look forward to. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> Tired. Oh, I wanted to kick him off. Very bang out of order that.